What's up guys? Welcome to my raids video. So the first thing you're going to need to know about raids is that raids is sort of in-game content. You're going to want to have some stats, you're going to want to have some gear. Now don't be discouraged, it's not crazy hard, and if you die, no harm, no foul, go run back and pick up your items. But do know that it is difficult content. So there are multiple ways to get there, the first being the Explorer's Backpack. The Explorer's Backpack is obtained from many different ways. It is tradable, it is in uh, mystery boxes, and you can also find it on the Vote Store. If That, that is probably the easiest and most um, secure way to get it, if you will. So when you uh, teleport to it, you'll have a nice mountain teleport. Uh, you can also walk here from Conkon Edgeville, Conkon Edge. Um, it's the Ice Mountain that's right next to Edgeville, and then the Orb of Light is what you're looking for. So whenever you click the Orb of Light, you'll notice there are four options. You have the Tecton, Vespula, Mutadal, and then the last one. So uh, before we get into that, though, let me show you all of the other Orbs of Light. So if you have Contributor Zone, which is the $100 donated rank, you can find the Orb of Light over here. I don't have the ranks on this account. But you can also find the Orb of Light in the Elite Zone and the Legendary Zone. Um, if you have those ranks, you're probably already aware of that. But they are in there somewhere. Um, and then if you are maxed, you can also find an Orb of Light in the Max Guild. Shoutouts to Section... Sorry, I'm running away. I don't even know if that's in reference to me. I thought, look, at, look, at, look at me, how vain I am. I didn't even think that. I, I just assumed he was talking about me. He could have very well been talking about Boss Man. Uh, and you can see right here. So... Those are the things. Mount Quintamorton is where you will fight the big boss, Vasa. We'll talk about Vasa last, but this is sort of just a nice little chill spot where you can find the uh, raid point shops. So whenever you kill the other three, Tecton, Mutadile, and Vespula, you will have a chance of getting up to 100 raid points each kill. Um, in order to fight Vasa, the big boss, you need an ancient tablet, which you can see is this many points. And then you also have a chance, uh, you can also purchase a raid box so you can get these prayers straight up and have a chance of gambling for the omelet. Um, here's a little bank. So, did I not put a bank here? I could have sworn I put a bank here. Never mind, there's no bank here. And if you uh, want to go in here, you need those tablets, and this is where you fight Vasa. So, let's get into the actual bosses. Okay, so in terms of gear for Mutadile, you're going to want to use Max Melee. The Max Melee you have, whatever the best gear possible you can use. Now, it is actually weak to Crush, but no one ever uses Crush. I think even though it has such a high stab defense, the speed of the Rapier outbeats a Elder Maul. So um, if you don't have a Rapier or Dragon Sword, and you think that the Abyssal Tentacle or Normal Whip is not working out, maybe try to switch to a Crush weapon such as... Elder Maul or Abyssal Bludgeoned or something along those lines. So, of course, to get back there, find your way to a Orb of Light and then uh, teleport to Mutadile. And there are people here. He's an Iron Man. I don't really want to crash him. I'm just going to wait a little while until it is free. Apparently, I'm third in line. Alright, so they shout out to Teflon. He's going to let me go ahead of him just so I can get this uh, footage. Um, now, these bosses are not necessarily camped all the time, but you can you can definitely expect, people see, expect to see people here every once in a while. So, the thing to know about this boss is it hits like a trap. As you see right there, it has a combination attack, and you can see in the champ, but it doesn't really help you knowing anything. Uh, you see what he's using right here, the uh, dragon uh, Warhammer special. Um, some people like to lower its defense. Uh, they believe it works. I um, can't say for certain. I mean, I know I know that the code works. I just don't know if that's better than just using Crystal Halberd. That's the compare. Like, that's the other thing you'll probably want to use. Um, Crystal Halberd is pretty good. Abyssal Dagger is pretty good if you have it. Really, any spec weapons, but um, a lot of people like to bring spec re or defense reducers and um, I would I would say if you have it, bring it. Uh, so, the real strategy to this boss is n there's none. Just attack it and eat up. It can combo you at 104 health, so there's really no um, need to eat at a certain level. It is unlikely that it's going to combo you at 104 health, but that is its max hit. Uh, so, the, if you really wanted to brew over, you could try it, but I would say just keep your health around 80+. plus. Because if you look at most of the times when it does that special attack, it's normally like a 40 and then like a 0 or 40, like an like a 10. 
so I would try to stay above 80 health. And that's essentially the boss. It is not too hard in a nutshell. It can smack you. That's really the key to this boss is just it's going to smack you and you're probably going to die. But again, just make sure you can get your back here. I believe this dude did die. We were talking about that. I think he did die. Hopefully he's picking his stuff up. Yep, he is. So let's try to get this kill. And again, at full health, I could just get dropped right now. It's unlikely. It's not like highly likely that that's going to happen, but it, it, it is possible. And it, it probably will happen to you if you try to kill this a lot. So let's see what our raid points are at. We're at zero raid points. We're going to see live how many points I got. And as you can see, even though it has good stab defense, the rapier is just shredding through it. And boom. Dragon medium helmet. And we got 45 raid points. Uh, again, you can get up to 100. So uh, again, thanks to Teflon for letting me kill that. So for Tekton, you're going to want to get your best mage gear and preferably barrage, blitz, and or burst. I think the burst freezes as well. Uh, so if you'll notice, I do not have the best of mage gear. I don't enjoy this boss. If you will remember my first video of raids, it uh, did not go too well here. Um, all of these bosses are equally easy and equally hard at the same time. Like it, it, like every person has their one that they like and everyone has their one that they hate. This is the one that I hate. But it's not a bad boss. It's probably what most... I think the most people would consider this the easiest one. And you'll understand why once we show you. So this is the strategy. And it really sort of goes down to how much you're paying attention. Hit it six times. I believe you get six. So that's four or five right there. I think that this is five and then one more. And then run down here. Okay, it was five. Five. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So run down here. When it goes all the way back up, hit it. And then count your hits. Count to five, two, three, four, and then five. Go down here. I guess you can get six. I think you can get six. I think I just can't count. So he's going to come try to get you and then run back. Once he's chilling, get him. Super simple. You can do the whole kill without taking any damage at all. Um... If he does get a hold of you, he has a special attack where he can stun you, um, and another special attack where he can take your prayer off. Uh, he's kind of like Mirada, where you're just he's you're gonna die. If he gets a hold of you, if you screw up, you're dead. Now keep in mind the strategy to this boss is really supposed to be meant for multiple people, and you're you barrage him, and then everyone stands around, and and you know you run back back and forth and whatnot. Um, so there's been some conversations about possibly trying to fix the safe spot you're watching right here. So just keep that in mind. In the future, the methods might be a little bit harder. The premise, though, will always stay the same. Your goal is to freeze him and keep him away from you. You do not want this big boy to smack you. And it does have a lot of health. If you do hit twice on it. You probably have seen, if we zoom out, that some of my hits are pretty good, although I'm not doing that right now. Uh, praying melee is not... Uh, necessary. Like I said, it can shut your prayer down and smack you anyways. Uh, it is, if you want to do it, it does serve a purpose. Like, it can prevent you from getting smacked. Normally, I just pray with the uh, Mystic Might, or if you have it. Augury, I still don't have Augury. So I'm a scrub. Uh, that should be a good hit right there. 64, and that's not a normal hit. But you can hit pretty decent on this boss. So, that's the key. Just hit it, count your hits, and when it's about to smack you, run away. Never let it touch you. I've been pretty lucky with letting it touch me, because you've seen it smack me a couple times, and I've, I've gotten lucky with low damage hits, but it normally will smack you, and it stuns you, and if you get stunned, you're essentially just dead, unless you get super lucky. So let me uh, pause and resume, uh, I'll show you the last, the last thing there is to know about this boss. If you have this issue where you keep running to the boss, the reason that happens is because you're not, you're running out of his distance into his distance. So just stay closer to him. You don't have to be that far away. As long as he can't, as long as you, there's this much space within you, you're good. So that should be death. You'll notice exactly when it happens. Boom. When it dies, it does have like a final, basically the uh, overwhelming heat burns you. So just be cautious of that as well. And there you go. There's a Tekton kill. We gained one raid point. Nice. Real nice. Real nice. 
And the last one we have is Vespula. So the Vespula is pretty simple as well. It is very easy. If you have a Serp Helm, bring it. Bring your best mage gear, or range gear, range gear, and attack. Uh, Twisted Bow does work on it. It is not 100%, but it is, uh, I call it half. It's not really half. That's not a good way to look at it, but that's just how I call it so people know what I'm talking about. Basically, the Twisted Bow has two different um, boosts for some monsters. So for some monsters, it hits more. For some, it hits less. And this is one of the ones where it hits less. But as you can see, that is definitely not an issue because we're sh tearing through it pretty quick. Uh, apparently, someone was doing this. So as you can see, it spawns minions. And your damage at this point is halved. If you have power gear similar to what I'm rocking, you can just kind of tank through it. If you do start taking a lot of damage, you can pray melee. These things melee only. Um, or you can, you know, try to get something. It actually seems like this thing is the only one still attacking me. But if you were in less gear, uh, you can, like, you could do it in this gear, this whatever, whoever this person's using, Crystal Bow. They need to come get this Crystal Bow. Anyways, you can do it in our gear. Um, just teleport. Teleport and come back. And the Vespine soldiers will still be aggressive to you, but the boss will not. So you can just pray melee and slowly take those down. Or, if you're like me and you're too lazy, power through. If you don't have a Serp Helm, I would recommend bringing some anti-poisons because her special attack will poison you quite often. Also keep in mind, if you do kill these, which obviously you're, you're, you, you might want to, bring a Blowpipe or a uh, Redwood Shortbow, something faster because the Twisted Bow effect does not actually work on the soldiers. Should be dead soon. So many freaking raid points we can get. One raid point. Come on now. And boom goes the dynamite. Boom, boom, boom. Rune darts. Pretty meh. So last but not least, we have Vasa and Estero, the big boss, the big daddy. So to get there, as you saw from earlier, get to Mount Quidamorton using that orb of light. This is the area you're going to need the ancient tablet to get in. In terms of gear, you're going to want to bring something similar to, to Vespula. You're going to want to bring your max range gear. Twisted Bow does full damage here, so it is definitely the best in slot item, uh, the best item possible. If you have uh, Blowpipe, that'll work. Um, I think Redwood Shortbow would work, but you would not be contributing a whole lot. So the thing with this boss is it is pretty tough. It's very physical, very strong, and has a couple different techniques. And... Uh, the reason it's so strong is because everybody gets a loot. Every single person who helps out with the kill gets a loot. So this is definitely the main thing to mask when everybody is in the mood for it and whatnot. I'm going to try to get a couple people together to do it. Um, we'll see. So when you're ready to go in, there is no reason to pray because he just... That's that's uh, that's one of the things I was going to tell you about. Okay, let's let's get out of here. That I mean, it happened so quick I didn't have time to warm you up. So one of Asa Nistiro's special abilities is the fact that he will teleport you to one of the other ones. He'll just scoot your ass right out by, by Felicia. Um, the, the thing to note about that, though, is whenever that special effect triggers, you have a 1 in 20 chance of losing your ancient tablet. So you do not want to see that often. I would strongly recommend not bringing a blowpipe if you can avoid it. Just because if you're in a big group and you're using a blowpipe and they're using twisted bows, you'll be at a disadvantage. So I would recommend if you don't have a twisted bow to try a different, uh, to try using either a redwood short bow or maybe even, honestly, like a crystal short bow or a crossbow. Crossbows would be awesome. Use ruby bolts. As you see, we just got bounced again. It does not trigger as much as it's, you're going to think, just because uh, I'm the only one doing it. you got to keep that in mind. Normally, this boss will be done with like a minimum of five to six people. The thing is, there's only like two people online that even have tablets or even know how to do this. This is so new, that's one of the main reasons why we had to make this video. So I couldn't really get anybody to help. But you don't have to worry about that as, 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 as often as you... It's not a big deal as much as you think. So we see right here the light from your halo saves you from the darkness. This is why a halo is necessary. So if we take this off, hopefully it'll trigger that attack again. Uh, it is. A dark force consumes you. So whenever that happens, it only shows two hits, but you actually get hit um, with every single different style. Like you get hit three times. It just doesn't show the other two. 
So it's a very dangerous attack. You're definitely going to have to be paying attention for it. And, and all you have to do is have a, a Ceridome and Halo. That's, that's all you need for it. Or, or any Halo, any Halo, not just Ceridome, my bad. It's in, any Halo, so... That's it with the techniques. It'll teleport you around to the other bosses, but that's really just an inconvenience and the, the possibility of a massive inconvenience with the ancient tablet. Um, you, other than that, you're just gonna sit here and smack to, to, to. Oh, I know why that's doing that. <laughs> I, co I copied my gear from somebody. That's why it said unarmed. Um, we're fine though. So, yeah, this is a pretty tanky boss. It does have a lot of health. You're gonna want to do this in teams of, I would say, three or four. Um, I mean, two people could probably do it. They might just have to bank a couple times. But everybody who does damage to it will get a loot. So it doesn't really matter if you're in a group with Twisted Bows. They'll, they'll, honestly, they're just helping you because you're going to get a loot even if you have a, uh, an, an, an uh, Armadillo crossbow or something smaller. So that is it for the boss. This boss does not actually drop raid points. Um, another thing about all of the bosses that I didn't mention is they all have a chance of dropping a raid box. Uh, so for the other three, Tecton, Mutadal, and Vespula, they all drop the... Uh, they all have a chance. It's, it's a 1 in 400 chance. Um, actually, I don't think it's 400. I think it's a lower number. It, it's, a, it's a number. A, a 1 in <laughs> number chance of, of getting a raid box. And then I know for a fact Vasa's number is 1 in 100. So you have a 1 in 100 chance from, killing, from, from getting one from Vasa. The Vespula and the Tecton bosses have a secret rare drop. Only those two, those two specifically, have a secret rare drop. It's a 1 in 25,000 chance. It will yell, and no one has gotten it. It has never been, it's never been received. No one's gotten it yet. So um, if you ever were looking for something crazy rare to try to grind out, that would be it. Now, I am definitely going to go try to find this loop balloon. One sec. So that is pretty much it for the raid bosses. That is everything... Um, it is going to be coming out in this update coming out Friday. Uh, when you're watching this, it's the 10th, whatever Friday I'm talking about. <laughs> that Friday, it's uh, we're going to be adding the pets, the Vasa pet, the Muted Owl pet, the Tecton pet, and the uh, Vespula pet. So that should be pretty cool. Old school added them. Obviously, we're going to want them in, in here. So uh, go get them. Good luck, guys.